Hey guys, it's Rick here, and uh, we're sitting here in my nerd cave right now. And uh, listen, I know I haven't put out any videos in a while. I haven't really had much to talk about. Uh, so I didn't want to just put something out there just to put something out there, but I promise there will be more coming soon. Uh, but here, I just wanted to show you on this beautiful Sunday morning a figure that I have been working on. And it is the Arkham Knight Scarecrow. I've uh, done a little customizing to it. And uh, excuse my nerd room when I pan around here, it's pretty messy. Uh, but uh, when I originally got the figure, something was off with it. I love the figure. It's a great figure. It's a character that I love dearly. Um, but something just felt off with it. And I couldn't quite place what my, you know, place what it was. So after playing the game, I realized that it was in the face department. So I just want to show you here what I've been working on. Um, Went ahead, and uh, the face originally looked a little too smooth for my taste, and the color just seemed off with it. So what I did, um, I roughed it up a bit. Went to Walmart, got some 50-cent paints. It was real easy to do. I'm no customizer by any stretch of the imagination, um, but it was easy enough to do. And I, come on, focus, there we go. I uh, dry brushed. Uh, did some whites, some grays, a little bit of black, and some browns so that when it goes into the shadows, it takes on a brownish appearance, uh, as it does in the game. Um, and I'm really happy with how it turned out. It looks a lot more in-game model to me. Uh, again, real easy to do. I am no customizer by any means. And uh, just take the paints. Again, white, gray, black, a little bit of brown. Uh, take the paints, wipe off the excess, and dab. Don't do strokes. Uh, do dab. That way it gets that rough appearance as it should. Because in-game, I'm not going to spoil anything, but it should resemble a uh, pale burlap sack. It should be frayed and diced up. and just It shouldn't look like smooth skin. Um, but I know why they did that. So, again, not going to spoil anything. But, uh, yeah, again, really happy with how it turned out. To me, it looks a lot more in-game model. Highly recommend it if you're a fan of the game, if you're a fan of this character. That way you get your perfect scarecrow. And uh, it's cheap. Cost me a buck fifty, two bucks at tops uh, to do this. And you don't have to be an expert customizer. In fact, the sloppier the better with the Arkham series. So let me know what you guys think. Have a good Sunday.